for joining us uh, on the show tonight. We have with us Vikram Kirloskar, former president of CII and uh, chairman managing director Kirloskar Systems. Thank you so much, Mr. Kirloskar, uh, for joining us. Now, uh, before we talk about the work of frontline healthcare workers, I do want to understand from you, Mr. Kirloskar, how challenging have you found to reopen and get your businesses going with the fear of the COVID still surging? Oh, it's, it's a big, big challenge, especially on the dealer side, how to sell vehicles. Uh, it's, it's been a terrible challenge, how to get a person into the dealership. We're doing a lot more sales on the net, but it, it is certainly a challenge. We are now working at about one shift level, roughly 40, 50%, 50% of our production levels. Uh, the scare is there. I'm personally you know, scared. I'm carrying my mask all the time. I'm washing my hands all the time. Uh, we're being very, very careful. Uh, I, I wish the people in the factory also, you know, they, they are the brave guys coming up there to work. Just like your nurses and your doctors, they are the really brave guys. You know, we are the guys in the background that way. So I, I, I really feel out for them. It's, it's a tough way to go ahead. Uh, Mr. Kirloskar, we've seen some very frightening uh things happening in the United States where several states, for example, are saying they may need to go back into lockdown because the numbers over there, uh, 45,000 odd cases in 24 hours being reported. Here in India, we are seeing a huge surge of cases, for example, in the national capital. How disastrous will it be for us economically if we get into a situation when some cities actually start locking down again, if, it, if that is to happen? See, let me tell you very simply, in the auto industry, most of the break-evens are beyond 85, 90% okay, of last year's sales, roughly. I'd, I'd say it's in that range for most companies. We'd be lucky if we do between 50 and 60% this year with the way things are going. So you, you, can, you can imagine what the, what the situation on the bottom line would be, what the situation on tax collection for the government would be. But this is for large companies. Imagine the plight of the small industry or the small shopkeeper, the restaurant owner, all, all those guys. It's, it's going to be extremely, extremely tough for them without business going on. Uh, that's, that's the fact. So, I, you, you know, I, I believe like this whole mask and thing situation. I've been, when, when I go out, I don't go out much, but whatever little bit I have gone out, I still see people, you know, wearing a mask like this. Yep. It, it, it has no meaning. You know, I, I, I think we have to have respect for the people around us and make sure we wear a mask properly and wash hands and stay away. Yeah. Stay six feet away. That is that is key. It, there is nothing else that will help us uh, combat this virus. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, absolutely, and, sir. And, 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 and to see people basic being, stuff, you know, careless in our cities. And respect. They travel to anywhere in the markets in Delhi, for example. People are not cautious enough because yeah, things are opening up. It causes so many problems. Exactly, sir. That's a problem. But Mr. Kiloska, thanks so much uh, for being with us and sharing those thoughts. Let's hope things get better for the sake of the economy and, of course, our health.